Hello everyone, welcome back to Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is Cycle 3, Week 19, Science. But for everybody else, that just means we're talking about acids and bases. What are they? Why are they important, etc. So before we get started, remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And if you would like to support Doodling Through Education, you can do so. Um, I put a link in the description below. Um, it's through a website called Buy Me A Coffee. And without further ado, let's start doodling. Today we are going to talk about acids and bases. Acids and bases are essential in understanding as they are opposites, but they are also encountered quite frequently, not just in the laboratory, but in everyday life. When it comes to food, if you were to taste a more acidic food, it would taste more sour or more tart. Bases, on the other hand, generally tend to taste a bit more bitter. However, it is important to note that strong acids and strong bases are incredibly dangerous chemicals and can be poisonous or even cause burns on your skin. So they should never be tasted or even touched. So what makes something an acid or a base? When combined with other substances, for example, water, they dissociate which just is a big word for, it means that they break up and they produce what is called ions. Ions are just a fancy word for different particles that have either a positive or a negative charge. So for example, a hydrogen atom consists of, we know, one proton, which has a positive charge and it has one electron, which is a negative charge. And so under normal circumstances, if there's one positive charge and one negative charge, they cancel each other out and make the hydrogen atom neutral. But let's just say a hydrogen atom lost its electron. Well, now it becomes an ion and this ion has a positive charge. So let's dive into talking about acids. What makes acids different than bases? Well, acids can lose, or we say donate, a proton, which is the same thing as a hydrogen ion, right? Because if the hydrogen atom lost its electron, it just has one proton and one positive charge. So a proton and a hydrogen ion are the same thing. And these acids can donate this hydrogen ion when combined with other substances such as water. So let's look at hydrogen chloride, HCl. If you put hydrogen chloride into water, the compound separates and this releases hydrogen ions and chloride ions. Now, this is a solution of hydrogen ions and chloride ions in water. And this is called hydrochloric acid. Why is it an acid? Well, because it contains hydrogen ions and they can react or combine with negatively charged ions. Acids can be strong or weak, and this depends upon how many hydrogen ions are released in solution. So if there are more hydrogen ions that are released, it's a stronger acid. This strong acid, like hydrogen chloride, will dissociate completely, meaning all of the hydrogen chloride atoms break apart and now there are no more hydrogen chloride atoms, it's just hydrogen ions, chloride ions, and water. Now, there can also be weak acids. And a weak acid is when only a small percentage of the acid molecules break apart to produce hydrogen ions. 
So an example of a weak acid is citric acid. Not all of the citric acid break apart, only some of them dissociate. And then there are hydrogen ions and citrate ions. We use acids for many different things in the world. We use very strong acids for producing fertilizers, some pharmaceutical drugs, and even batteries. And we also use weak acids as well. Weak acids are actually in many of the foods we eat or drink, such as citrus fruits like oranges or lemons, uh, milk and yogurt, vinegar, or even soda. Okay, now that we've talked about acids, what are bases? Well, a base is a substance that can accept a hydrogen ion. So an acid can donate a hydrogen ion, whereas bases accept a hydrogen ion. So let's look at the compound sodium hydroxide. And if we put sodium hydroxide into water, this compound also breaks apart or dissociates and it forms sodium ions and hydroxide ions. The reason it is a base is because it contains those free hydroxide ions that can accept the hydrogen ions. So just like acids, bases can also be strong or weak, depending upon how many hydroxide ions there are in the solution. The more hydroxide ions, the stronger the base. The less hydroxide ions, the weaker the base. So just like acids, strong bases such as sodium hydroxide break apart completely. There are no more sodium hydroxide atoms in the solution. Whereas only a small amount of sodium hydroxide molecules will break apart when dissolved in water. Now let's talk about the pH scale. You may have heard of this term before and it simply tells you how acidic or basic a substance is. This scale ranges from zero all the way up to 14 and it determines how many hydrogen ions are in a solution. So let's look right in the middle at a pH of seven. When a substance has a pH of seven, that means it has an equal number of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. And pure distilled water is here at a pH of seven, meaning it's neutral. Going to the left of pH seven, anything less than seven are going to be considered acidic. And as it goes down the pH scale, the more hydrogen ions and the more acidic something becomes. So lemons, we know lemons are quite acidic. They fall at about two. Now, if we look to the right of a pH of seven, everything to the right or greater than seven are basic. And it means it has a lower concentration of hydrogen ions. The higher the pH, the stronger the base. So eggs, for example, have a pH between eight and nine, whereas most soaps are actually around a pH of 12. And that's all we have for today. I hope you learned a lot in this video and it helps you to understand what are acids, what are bases, and how we use them in our world. So your homework this week is to go around your house and see if you can find any acidic things and see if you can find any basic things. But remember, please be safe doing this. Use your parent as a resource to help to tell you if it is safe for you to be handling the specific acidic or basic compound. So be sure to have parental guidance with that. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care.